Hey guys, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Got the 787 here on the bench. Um, we're gonna go over some damage from the last crash I had. Um, show you what happened to it and repair it, hopefully in this video. Um, first thing guys is just like on the 917, this is what broke on the back, uh, causing me to lose a drive shaft, which, um, you know, was so problematic on the 917, I ordered quite a few extra parts. And uh, so I have those. Um, won't need to be ordering them or anything like that. I've got, I think I've got everything to fix it. Um, also, I discovered on the 917 that the CVDs fit in the rear, so I'll be fitting uh, a set of CVDs onto the back of this 787. Um, we also broke the front hub carrier here, uh, which I also had in stock to fix it. Um, so I've watched the video a couple times. I'm not certain what happened first, whether it blew over or the tire blew. Um, but this tire did let go, uh, causing some uh, damage to the body. It rubbed on the battery here, as you can see. Luckily, it didn't uh, tear up any of the wires and the battery's good to go. Um, but uh, my dad's RC brought up a good point on the rubber tires. Uh, I thought they were good for a little bit more, but they, they do balloon and you know, say you have them on the front and as they start to balloon, they start picking the car up, uh, which will allow air to get under it and cause it to blow over. Um, and then your RPMs go to the moon, uh, which causes the tire to blow. So it all makes sense, kind of like a, a bell went off, but here's the damage on the body. It's not too terrible. Nothing that a little bit of heat and some Gorilla tape won't fix, um, but it did bounce down the road some, so. But overall, it took it. It's a tough little car. Um, so I'll be putting some contact foams on here, guys, uh, which will require me to remove these uh, scale parts like the brake discs um, or the calipers anyway once you bolt the wheel down it doesn't want to move uh, so I'll be taking those off um, but everything else fairly straightforward um, I don't know if I'll do it on this repair or not but uh, I like to shorten these motor wires up where they're more direct into the ESC but just a few things uh, should get her back on the road, guys. And once now we know the damage, let's get to fixing it. And we'll be right back, guys. We got the first broken part off. Got it fixed. So we're gonna move to this side. This side's not broken. But we have to take the little helio off here. You can pop this thing off, but it's just as easy to, to unscrew it. It'll give you hopefully access to this thing. Just getting over a, I don't know if it was a cold or what it was guys, but first time in 27 years I've been put down by something. Uh, probably a solid three days I, I spent in the house taking mucinex and whatever else would make me feel better. 
that stuff dehydrates you by the way you gotta drink a lot of water so remember that if y'all get sick lots of water i'm not the greatest water drinker so i struggle with it all right guys so on this uh these are 26 millimeter this is the rear 130 um on this little car unless you do some finagling with the uh little steering arms there you uh, you won't be able to put those fronts on there once you tighten them down the 30 millimeter uh, rims hit the uh, steering arm there so I uh, use the 26's on the 917 and I'm gonna do that on this one as well I don't know if you guys see that but I didn't put the drive shaft back in I didn't realize that it fell out so with this dude tightened up in the front will be fixed is done guys all right let's move to the back here for that we're gonna have to put one of these together so give me just a minute and we'll be right back all right guys we're gonna get on this back end here um i've been out sick most of the week um haven't really worked on anything so we're gonna get right to this um it's a nice saturday today and we're gonna try to get this thing fixed so we can Hopefully make a run with it today. Um, in order to get this back deal fixed here, um, we're going to have to take off this center brace. And those of you who had the 917 uh, carbon car know that it was a waste of time to even try to get these off. Um, there was so much Loctite on them. Um, and to be honest, I don't know why you'd want to take eight off instead of four. But anyway, I'm going to take off the four here. Undid the servo from the bracket there rather than taking the bracket off because I did put Loctite on that. So we're going to lift this up and try to get to that part I'm hoping I can just take the front slide the front forward and get the pin out to try to get the new uh, upper arm on there and then we'll get it adjusted and hopefully make some runs with this dude haven't been putting any content out and my channel's suffering a little bit not getting any views so we can lift this guy up and kind of set it to the side here hopefully once we take these two little bolts are screws out here this should slide forward enough for us to get that pin out seem to work on the 917 but I don't know about this one I may not have enough room with that gear here I don't know if it'll slide over the top of that or not we're gonna find out I may have to May have to take more apart than what I plan on. Yep, yep, it'll slide. Question is, is it enough? Doesn't look like it. So I may have to just loosen these a tiny bit or take them out and 
we'll see here. All right, and you have a little washer there, spacer that you're gonna to wanna to make sure stays right there. So we're gonna lay that dude right there. And we'll get our new part out here. So we want to make sure it goes back on the same way, All right? So just like so, take that dude out, put it in there. And hopefully we can get this dude back in there. Bit of a pain, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But I think that got it. And it's cold out here this morning, so my fingers are not feeling great. So we got that done. So I'm gonna take out the CBD, put it together um, so we can get it on there and I'll be right back guys. All right guys, I've been fighting this brake disc here that's also the, the wheel uh, hex. Um, it does have a little bend to it but it's jammed on here guys i have not been able to get it off the only thing i have thin enough to get back there to try to pry on it is a knife and i've been working on it off camera for quite some time and it still does not want to come off oh, there we go maybe that got it it's past the, the little pin there but it still won't come off so oh there we go all right so finally got it off of there i don't know why it was stuck but boy was it all right so we had to get that dude out of there so we could pop this out and then get the uh get the drive shaft in there so we're gonna put that dude in there like that and then slide the drive shaft in there like so and now we're just hoping that like on the 917 it uh, it's in there good looks like it does oh, still working on that a little cold guys sorry about the sniffling put this washer back on there put this guy through so this video is probably really only going to be good for you guys who haven't really worked on these guys much I know that there's a lot of guys out there who had the 917 so you guys are probably pretty versed on these things and how much of a how much of a pain they can be Alright guys, so that fixes that. I'll get this hooked back up. Last thing I gotta do is get this scale part off here, the caliper, and get the other wheel on there guys, and this thing was done. Um, sorry the video is so long. Hopefully this mic uh, sounds a lot better than just the iPhone by itself. And 
guys we're going to get the motor wires shortened up on this um, I'm gonna I borrowed some of these off of another deal so I'll get the wire off of it and get them soldered on um, I'll probably video that guys if you want to see that um, just let me know and and I'll uh, edit it into the next video other than that guys y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one